Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Topic for today's Flutter 10 minute series is Align Widget and I would say this is one of my favorite and best widgets that I've come across in Flutter. Um, the reason is um, before I could actually discover about this Align Widget whenever I had a container and if I had to move it to a particular position or I have to get it to the right side or align it to the left side I had a lot of difficulties doing it and I had to add a lot of padding and I had to tweak the code and it used to get a lot messier. But then when I discovered about Align, trust me, my job got really easy. It's clean, easy to use and you could see the results. So enough of talking about Align widget. So I'm going to show you a demo first and then we'll see the implementation. So to talk about the demo, um, I've used a very simple uh, book cover um, and then uh, whenever you have these kind of uh, images either you want to add a favorite or you want to add some kind of bookmark or something like that over the image so in that kind of cases what you could basically do is add a container and position it so in this case this picture does not contain this yellow strip so this is my button where I have tried to place it align it at the center right position and that's it so all I had to do is put this entire container that is this button container inside align and give the alignment of center right and I got it here so it's not only center right we have three uh, positions like we say top center and bottom and for top we have top left top center top right and the same goes with the other as well so we will see how to place this containers in different positions. So yeah, so let's clear the template and I'll start up with a very simple basic text container and I'll show you how the align works. All right, uh, to start up with, I have a very simple bare bone Flutter project here uh, with the app bar and uh, the body section is completely empty here. So, well, if you look at the Flutter document definition for align, it says the widget that aligns its child within itself and optionally sizes itself based on the child size. So it sounds very simple. It says basically it aligns and also it has the optional way of adjusting the child's size. So I think uh, it would be more appropriate when you see the implementation of the align widget. To start up with, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when you place a text in the column wise, it all appears by default uh, one below the other um, in the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so inside this what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three containers. Hold my text widget. Okay, and inside this I'm going to place a text widget with say first okay and then with the child element text and the text is second it's uh, I make I'm keeping it very simple just to show you how the align works so this child component could be another a button or another entire container or image anything child and again the text with the third container okay now when you build this you can see the text appearing one below the other so let's do a quick hot restart all right so I've built this and uh, it looks like the font is really small uh, let me give some styling let me use this for the rest of the container as well so the point here is that we see the text one below the other now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the first one towards the left, the second in the middle and the third towards the right corner. So how would I do that is all you have to do is just enclose your container inside align widget. So just add the align, close it and then your align has a property called alignment and this container becomes the child container okay and this alignment you have a couple of 
properties as i mentioned you have top right top center center right so depending on your ui or use case you can choose the one so i'm going to use uh, top left for this so similar way i'm going to add the same align property to my other container but just changing alignment properties so this would be top center and similar way my third container will be top right i'm going to change this so let me do a quick hot restart and you can see align so there you go so you can see the first here second here third here but if you say position widget also does the same thing but there is a very huge difference that is um, alignment does either top bottom or center but position widget you can actually go between the points say for example i want something between center and bottom and somewhere here then i can use a position widget so that's how uh, uh, position widgets are basically used now this was a simple demonstration of how you could uh, get your containers position now i'm going to show you how to add the uh, the strip on that book cover uh, by using align so let me clear the template and we can start working on it all right so moving on to the um, book cover example all I have is uh, another uh, Flutter project with the app bar and then I have used a material stack and then a container with a width and height and I've used a fill network image. Now when I do a hot restart, the container looks like this and it's placed in the left. Now I want this to be on the center. So all we do is we enclose this container again inside a line. So there you go. So what I've done is I've placed the align widget with the alignment of top center and that contains the child component, which is the container. And when I do a hot restart, you can see that it's placed in the center of the page. Now let me add the strip and we will see how it works. All right, now for the button part, what I've done is I've created a button which contains an icon and a text. So the icon is the heart and the text is 96. And I've enclosed this inside a container and this container is inside a material with a border radius. I'll explain about the border radius in a second. So what I'll do is first I'll enclose this entire material inside an align and the align is center right. And then I'll add the closing braces. And when I build this, all right, I see the application has built and you can see the strip in the center because I've mentioned the alignment center right. Now I'll show you how to um, make the strip appear on the top right and also give you a feel that it's actually a part of the image. So it merges with this radius. So I'll show you how to do that. So all you have to do is change the alignment to top right and I'm going to remove this top left radius. Yeah. And yeah. So let's do a hot restart and we'll see the output. All right, so it's built successfully and you can see that I've placed the alignment to the top right and I've given the bottom left radius. So only the bottom left radius has a circular 14. And uh, the reason I had placed it in the center was there was some text here. So that was the reason I placed it here. So this is how you use align widget. It's simple to use. And if you want to use it on your images, you want to add some uh, profile names or you want to add some favorite icons or if you have an e-commerce app and you want to add some uh, prices on it definitely use those um, containers and use align on it and uh, yeah that's it for this video um, hope you will like it if you do like please give it a like and subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you